This video covers notes 2-3 over solving inequalities with variables on both sides. So we start by reviewing how to solve equations with variables on both sides. We use don't call me after midnight, so we distribute the number in front to both pieces. So 2 times 3z is 6z, 2 times 1 is 2, negative 2 times z is negative 2z, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. I look for like terms, but I don't have any that are on the same side. So I move variables. I'm going to move 2z by making it a positive. So I have 8z plus 2 equals negative 6. Then I will move 2, so subtract 2 from both sides. 8z equals negative 8. And finish by dividing everything by 8. So z equals negative 1. So when we solve for inequalities on both sides, we're doing the same thing. Um, sorry, inequalities with variables on both sides. We're doing the same thing just with an inequality symbol. So on problem one, it's already been worked for me. I don't need, have anything to distribute. I don't have anything to combine. I do have variables on both sides. So I move the smaller one by making it a positive so that it shows up on the other side. Remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip your inequality symbol. So I like to move so I don't have any negatives. Some people might wanna always move the variable to the left side so they don't have to switch their answer at the end. It's completely up to you. So problem two, we're solving the same thing. Don't call me after midnight. So parentheses to distribute, two times K, two times negative three. If you haven't touched it, leave it alone. I do have like terms to combine, but remember, if you don't touch it, leave it alone. So I haven't touched any of this. And then 6 and minus 3 are on the same side, so I do exactly what they say. 6 minus 3 is 3. I do have variables on both sides, so I need to move my variables to the same side. I'm going to move 2k because I want to make um, all of my variables positive if possible. You could move it to... The left side if you want, just remember when you divide by that negative to flip your inequality. And then move 3 away from k. So negative 9 is less than or equal to k. You can also rewrite it, k is greater than or equal to negative 9. Problem 3. I do have parentheses to distribute. So negative, or sorry, 0 0.5 times negative 16 is negative 8 times 3 is 1.5. I do have like terms to combine. So remember, if they're on the same side, you do exactly what they say. I do have variables on both sides to move. So I'm going to move 1.5b. Remember, when you move it, you change the sign. I don't have anything to add or subtract, so my last step is to divide both sides by 8.5, and b is greater than negative 16 seventeenths. You might have also gotten a decimal of um, 0.94. At this time, this would be a good time to pause the video and see if you can do problem four. So if you pause the video, I'm going to work out problem four after this. So pause it, and then um, whenever you come back, you'll see the explanation. So I do have parentheses to distribute. Uh, 0 0.4 times negative 22.5 is negative 9. 0 0.4 times negative 17.5n is negative uh, yeah, 7n. Combine my like terms. I have variables on both sides, so I'm going to move the smaller one. I don't have anything to add or subtract, so I just divide. N is greater than negative 3. Okay. 
doing the same things on the back. We have fractions, we just multiply them. Keep in mind if it is not a repeating decimal, you can take that fraction and rewrite it. Um, so this one fourth I could rewrite as 0.25 if you like decimals over fractions. I don't have any like terms to combine. I do have m's on both sides, so I'm going to move that 0.25m. If you don't touch it, rewrite it. I have 0.5 to move away, so I subtract it. So 3.5 is greater than 1.75m. And then divide by 1.75. And 2 is greater than m, or m is less than 2. Problem 6, we distribute 3 fourths, I'm sorry, 3 halves times 4 is 6. 3 halves times negative 8 thirds n is negative 4 n. If you don't touch it, rewrite it don't have any like terms. I do have variables on both sides, so I'm going to move them. Now with this one, my variables canceled out, so I stopped this problem, and I see if this is true or false. So 6 is less than negative 1. So they're saying having $6 means you have less money than if you owe somebody a dollar. Well, that is not true. That is false. So my answer is no solution, because that is not a true answer. Down at the bottom, you can go ahead and pause this, try to find the mistake. Hopefully you've paused, because I'm about to reveal the answer. The mistake is in step four. Whoa. Because um, they divided by a negative, but didn't flip the inequality symbol. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just, so sorry. Symbol. So this should be negative 5 is greater than x. Some people said up here that moving the negative 2x was wrong. It's not technically wrong, but you have to remember in step 4 to flip your inequality if you do that. So don't be afraid to move that negative 3x instead, which would have prevented them from making that mistake in step 4. But because they divided by a negative here, their inequality symbol should have flipped.